How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thank you for watching. And if you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. Um, we are going to be watching how to stay cool in Germany without central air conditioning. And that is by far the worst thing I've heard about Germany so far is them not having, or well, they have air conditioning, but they're just not as popular as they are here like you have to like sometimes you have to have an air conditioning like if there's anybody with that I feel so bad for people that have to live without air conditioning because it it sometimes it gets over 100 and especially around here really sucks that anytime it's hot it's humid on top of that so that sucks but that's what we're going to watch today, and it is by Life in Germany, so definitely go check them out and give them some love. Okay. Well. Okay. Sure. I'm so Canadian, aren't I? <laughs> when it's 35 degrees outside and you're pregnant, this theme just has to come up. Hello you guys and welcome back to Life in Germany. I definitely never thought I was going to be talking about air conditioning in any theme or any point in time on this channel, but it has come to my attention that this is a rather debatable theme. This chair is so creaky, I think I have to change it. One second. I'm so pregnant by the way. You can't even get Woo. it on the screen, Jenna. Oh my goodness. It's painful and when it's 35 degrees outside and you're pregnant, this theme just has to come up. Ugh. So, yes, theme of air conditioning. This is not something that we ever had to like discuss or debate back in Canada, but air conditioning in Germany, guys, it is a topic worth discussing, worth debating, and sometimes worth fighting over. Now, why is that? That is because a lot of Germans that I know that I've spoken to are actually either very, very against air conditioning or perhaps very why? for air conditioning. Oh you never know gosh. what you're gonna get. Most people in Germany. If you guys would like to have a debate about air conditioning, please put it down in the comments and I would love to, I love debating at that, but air conditioning is a, <laughs> Oh my God, our air conditioning broke on the same week that it was like over, it was at least 102 degrees. And on top of that, it was super freaking humid. I was like spread out freaking all over that couch. I was crazy, crazy. I, I have to have an air conditioning, that's for sure really do not like air conditioning i will tell you some of the reasons why and if you are foreign and you're moving here to germany we'll also give you some good tips as to how you can cool down since here in germany we don't have central air conditioning you guys this is something that you're gonna have to consider if you're moving here if you're moving into a furnished flat you can ask ahead of time if they have air conditioning chances are they won't so your option is either going to be let it go and do as the germans do <laughs> embrace the heat and find other ways to combat it or you can actually go out and buy a device yourself We'll get into that a little bit later on, but I want to get into the gist of why do Germans hate air conditioning so much? When I first met my husband and him and his friend came to visit us in Canada, one of the first things that they mentioned was that the air conditioning was blowing and we're gonna get sick and <laughs> they really hated it. And I never understood it because as a Canadian, I mean, our temperatures in the summer go up to maybe 40 degrees on occasional days, but you know what? Nowadays in Germany, it goes up to 40 degrees here too. So our excuse in Canada to have central air conditioning is maybe no longer a very valid excuse for having air conditioning. So just to sum it up, basically the biggest three factors for Germans is that it's bad for the environment, it's a waste of energy, and it makes people sick. 
they typically just simply do not like the feeling of walking into a cold place in the middle of summer where you have to like put a sweatshirt on and then when you leave you have to take off your sweatshirt. That I really never understood until I moved to Germany and really started to embrace it. Mind you, in the summer, I've mentioned this before in a video about what to wear in Germany during what season and I mentioned that somewhere in July or August and I was bang on this month guys because the last week of July, first week of August are supposed to be scorching like 38 degrees and this is why we're filming this video at the perfect moment for you guys to get ready and prepare yourselves. So while I totally stand by the Germans that air conditioning is not always necessary, I am gonna go ahead and say I do really, really appreciate a bus or a train with air conditioning. I actually avoid taking public transport in the summer sometimes just because I cannot deal with it especially with wearing masks nowadays it can get really really yeah. tough also it is really nice to have some shops here and there like we have a big mall which i never go to but in the summer months when it's hot going to this mall and just being like okay <laughs> embrace all the air conditioning you can get jenna has been a savior for me in yeah when my air conditioning was out we went over to a friend's house and I walked in, felt the air conditioning, and walked right back out because I'm like, I'm not going to feel this. And then have to go back home. And, oh my God, I can't. I won't. I'm sorry. I just, I don't. I tried embracing it, and I was miserable. On top of that, I, I do take medication that also makes me hot. So I'm like constantly hot, hot, hot. Oh. It makes me nervous the summertime however i will say that in germany the buildings here are built a lot differently than they are in north america we tend to use a lot of wood and insulation in our buildings in canada that are not as strong and as durable and in germany they use a lot of stone a lot of concrete that actually holds the cool air in the summer in the house so if you have sometimes your window shut your blind shut and you've got these cold concrete walls you might not even worry about air conditioning at all however if you have a place like i do you can see behind me attic apartments you guys they are so hot that I honestly don't think being without air conditioning is even an option. Due to my pregnancy complications and the way life's been going lately, um, my mom is actually coming for three months soon, so I'm really excited to film some videos with her, hopefully. But she'll be staying up here, and I was just like, no, like, we cannot do that this year. Like, we need air conditioning up here, otherwise my mom is going to fry. And she's all like, Jenna, I'm European, it's fine, don't worry, I don't need an air conditioner. And I'm just like, just you wait, ma, just you wait. You're gonna be like begging me on your knees to take you to Düsseldorf Arkaden shopping mall for a little bit of air conditioning. So the biggest question for many internationals coming here to Germany, is it possible to buy an air conditioning unit in Germany? Funny thing is, <laughs> Around this season, I kid you not, in Dusseldorf and other majoring cities around Germany, fans, air conditioning units, anything that blows some cold air your way in the summer tends to be sold out. There are times when even like Aldi and Lidl supermarkets, their cooling vents actually stop working because it's so hot. I think so I was going to mention all these because uh, we went about a month ago, well, when our air conditioning was out, actually, we were like, we're going to just go shopping and stuff so we went to Aldi's and um it was oh I thought I heard the baby crying uh in the Aldi's sorry guys uh they actually sold like they were selling air conditioning air conditioners and they were really really cheap like $199 for a whole unit. So I was like, dang. Crazy. I think that we experienced this two years in a row already, that it gets so hot, the circuits somehow end up bursting, and then we're not able to get like yogurt or cheese or anything cold that you want in the middle of a heat mm. wave because they're also experiencing the heat wave. So the answer is yes, you can actually buy an air conditioning unit. It's not gonna look the way it does in North America. If you don't know what it looks like in North America, I will put a picture up here for you right now. We have these massive units. Typically, we also have bigger backyards, so they will likely be hidden away in some corner. Now in yeah. Germany, they look a little bit different. So either you can go with this one right here, which you might also recognize from other countries like Thailand or Malaysia, Singapore, India, 
Many, many of them actually use this one here, which attaches to your wall, also has some sort of larger unit oh. that's outside, similar to the ones in North America, but on a smaller scale, and they cool up one particular room. They also cool down the room much quicker. Your alternative option, and probably a more realistic option for us here in Germany, is to actually get a portable one. Now these ones are still quite big. You can get a mini one, like about this big, I think, for your office desk if you just want to like cool yourself down while you're working. But if you really want to cool an entire room, chances are it's gonna look a bit bigger. So come with me. I'm going to bring you over there and show you ah, my brand new air conditioning unit. So call me crazy. <laughs> I'm sitting in a yoga pose on a pillow on the floor here, thanks to pregnancy bed rest. But I just wanted to show you this here on my level. So this is what it will typically look like. Like I said, it's actually quite big, but the nice thing is that if you can get one that's on wheels, this is from Passapair and actually no, they are today's sponsor for this video because they actually sent this to me while I was looking for air conditioning units and we're like, hey, you know, we can send this over to you if you want to try it out and check it out and see if it works for you. So a device like this. I'm looking for an air conditioner. <laughs> no, but I was looking up, I, I just looked online because she keeps saying degrees when she, she goes 30 degrees, but I go by Fahrenheit, not Celsius. So 40 degrees Celsius. Is like 104 degrees and that's a little bit hotter than what it is here but it gets up to the hundreds for sure around here and it's miserable this size will actually cool down probably about 33 to 40 square meters here in this attic i would say all in all it's about 40 square meters so if you have a small apartment or a smaller room in an apartment this would work the good thing is, is like I said, this option in particular is actually portable, so you can actually just go ahead, unplug it from the wall, and then put it in a different room for sleeping or working or whatever. So I bet it makes your electric bill really, really high. Now this one in particular is also a dehumidifier and a fan, so you don't actually have to use it as an air conditioner if you do not want to, but at the moment, this is what we want. This is what we need. It actually comes with a remote control here, similarly to the ones that you would install on the wall, not so similar to the ones in North America, but this is something I could really get used to, guys. One thing I will mention is that, I mean, the biggest issue for Germans, like I said before, is the energy factor. And that's actually something that I became so worried about when I moved here because electricity in Germany is expensive, you guys. We've talked about this to an electricity expert who has explained why prices are so high. <laughs> but to my surprise, actually, there are some that are so really, really bad for the environment but there are alternative options out there nowadays which is really good because there are still benefits to having an air conditioning unit despite the fact that Germans think you get sick with air conditioning or the fact that they used to take up a lot of energy the world is coming to create much more energy efficient eco-friendly devices that are much more of an option nowadays of course also yeah. I've talked about the fact that mold buildup is something that's a lot more common in Germany than in North America and I had this issue with choosing whether to paint my walls like a normal paint a normal white paint or with lack and every German who watched my renovation video said Jenna you cannot paint your walls with lack because your walls can't breathe and then you'll get mold and they're right so having an air conditioning unit in the summer is something that can actually really help with that and then on top of that Having this function as a dehumidifier too also really helps in the garage for us in the winter time. And I will add a link for this one down in the description below as well as a discount code for you guys if you do want to check it out because like I said, they are today's sponsor so we convinced them to also give you guys a discount code if they're not sold out this year <laughs> in time for you to need it. Yeah. But they are online right now, they are available. And this one in particular, as we were mentioning about energy costs, has the energy certificate of A. And this is something that's not all was that easy to find and I am just so relieved to finally be able to That's find really some cool. middle ground between being super German and not wanting an air conditioning unit and also being a Canadian and typically being used to having this central air conditioning. So to conclude things, this is not saying that I'm totally for or against air conditioning units, I'm just saying this isn't a bad idea guys, especially if you're coming from a country where you're totally used to having it, where you grew up with it, it's hard to just like 
go cold turkey and deal with a fan. I actually find that using a normal fan and just like blasting it on me when I'm sleeping makes me more sick than actually using my air conditioning unit, unfortunately. So that's it. I hope this is helpful. I do sleep with a fan too. And that is something like it, it helps me sleep for sure you answers your questions if there's another right. reason why you don't love air conditioning or you do love air conditioning let me know and leave your comments in the comment section below wie immer vielen vielen lieben dank und bis später wow pretty good at that hallo kari hallo manuel wir haben vor ein paar wochen ein video gemacht das hallo kari hallo manuel wir haben wow okay guys so there you have it. I don't know. I w I think I would I would try to do it without having an air conditioner. But it didn't go good here. And it makes me really anxious to think about it, but I'm I'm up for trying it your way. But I do want to know is it just because the the electric bill or let me know in the comments why you guys do not like electric or er, air conditioners. And I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. Um, I will put a link down in the description uh, for my Discord if anybody wants to go join and chat and have fun. Um, you could do that. And then we'll also put the link to the original video in the, the description area as well. So thank you guys so much. Bye.